Dear Mr. President, until I saw this document, I had no idea the attempted assassinations on your life over the last four years are in the double digits. You must certainly know better than all of us the level of intense hatred focused on you and your platform. But we do know that opposition to your authority is organized and it's malicious and it's determined. You have been attempting to govern these last four years under what we must admit, all of us, conditions of war. Mao Zedong des described this battlefield when he defined war as politics with bloodshed. And he also said that politics is war without bloodshed. And this can explain the many non-lethal tactics being used against you with warlike ruthlessness. When you became Chief Executive of the United States, you entered this deadly arena, an arena far different from the world of gentlemanly American business. The people you hired as president may or may not have respected your authority as boss. They may have been typical political pawns getting close to you to sabotage everything you stand for, to subvert commander intent. And at the center of this battleground, as you've learned, is the higher law, the Constitution. Insurrectionists really hate law. They hate justice. And in their efforts to destroy both, they target the chief law enforcement officer of the country if he refuses to go along with them into the business as usual criminality of Washington, D.C. And you have stubbornly refused to be compromised by them. But have you been cataloging all the weapons that your enemies have been using against you? These are not the tools of everyday business, but the arsenal of political intrigue. And so my message to you is simple but very urgent. Given the intensity of the conflict that you have survived for four years, please begin using the arsenal of politics with even greater intensity. Fight back with every legal statute and precept available to you in the U.S. Code and in the Constitution and in Executive Order 13848. Those who mean to destroy your country cannot simply be fired like some lazy employee. They must be read their rights, arrested and then tried, and then convicted and jailed. Organized opposition to your authority may be the crime of insurrection, and no one should ever get away with this. Every cabal of insurrection must be discovered and then rooted out of a nation and put to an end. So please examine every means available to you in various executive orders and laws and statutes and precepts and be as diligent about prosecuting these as your opponents are ruthless. Politics is war. Please fight accordingly.